Hi everybody, welcome to The First 15. Uh, this is a show where I sneak into the Game Trailers library, take out a game I've never seen before, never played before, and play it for 15 minutes, which I think is, you know, as long as it takes to really get uh, sort of a first impression, at least, of any game. Uh, so let's do that. So I'm looking for a game, not only that I haven't seen or played before, but also maybe something holiday themed because it is Christmas and I thought that would be fun. Uh, but you know, it's all luck of the draw really um, in this library. So uh, let's get started. Blades. This one I might not know. Oh no, no, this is X-Blades. This one's real bad. Battalion Wars 2, so many cool games, just totally forgotten about. I don't want it, I don't want this. I want to play a game called Ninja Reflex, but like I don't want it to be this. What is it? Oh, it's just Monster Hunter. Six Flags Fun Park. Mm. Oh, whoa, look how big the box is for Left Behind is. It might be like comes with a Bible connected to it. That's crazy it's that thick. This is a rare PS1 game. We don't have a lot of PS1 games in the library, but here's Spyro. You know what's funny to me about people who are mad about Skylanders is they're like, look what they did to Spyro. And it's kind of like, at least he's alive. You know, at least Spyro's out there. And you know, Crash Bandicoot is, is just a dead man right now. Look at all the Sonic games we have. Look at like how many just regular old CD cases we have here. Look at all of these Civilization games. It's cool we have a bunch of Armored Core games. I've uh, never played an Armored Core game since the demo on PlayStation 1 for Armored Core, I think, 1. And that was a cool demo. I don't know why I didn't play the game. It's just really hard. This makes no sense. This, like, this shouldn't ever happen. Number one, they shouldn't look like this. So they shouldn't have big heads. But, like, Yoda should not be racing a cart. Did I get worked up? Uh-oh. Here's the Adventures of Darwin. This I have certainly never heard of. And this is from D3. Oh no. From ape to human, lead the evolution of mankind. Here's the description. If you want to survive life in a hostile world, you must evolve. Drive the evolution of your village from a small group of simple primates to powerful intelligent colony of humans. This is a strangely like controversial topic just to make a fun and then call it the adventures of Darwin. Uh, irresistible. Especially on such a Christian holiday. I think I have to play the adventures of Darwin. Let's let's see if this game is is good or bad or Let's see what this game is about. And so here we are. This is the adventures of Darwin uh, 2007 so this is after the ps3 is already out um, Gonna just click click start and I guess we'll, we'll just go and 15 minutes starts now Oh, well, I guess now let's be normal in a beautiful pastoral land, the monkey Darwin, who lived there, had a dream. Normally I skip these, but I'm kind of into this right now. <laughs> Darwin had a hunch that it was not just a dream. He believed it was a real event that would occur soon. However, he also knew that he couldn't do anything about this on his own. But he knew that he had to do something. Huge ellipses. This is a real bad way to start a game. If we do nothing, the village will disappear, ooh ah. I will leave the village and search for a way to rescue it. Leaving the village, I will gather all kinds of wisdom, ooh ah. Yes, we will evolve, ooh ah. The word evolve resounded among the villagers. Four of them called out Darwin, called out to Darwin. Darwin, take us with you, ooh ah. Darwin and four villagers began their journey in a savage land. Start the game. Please start the game. Only have 15 minutes. Oh, here we go. What is, what? Oh, this is just our menu, I guess. Darwin's house. There he is, there's Darwin the monkey. No, come on, I don't want, why would this be the first option? Okay, guess we're going to the bar. Hi guys. Uh, ooh, so I can choose like how many people come with me. All four of you, please, okay. So I'm still just like prepping for the mission. Information board, not in 15 minutes. Here we go, leave village. 
Oh, great loading screen. Junction field. All right, darling. Let's do this, baby. Where are we going? Straight to the jungle. Look at how floppy he is. <laughs> uh, yes, we're going to Primitive Forest. Darwin's just dreaming of steak. Primitive Forest. There's a star. Let's do it, gang. Can we jump? No. Nope, sorry, I did not mean to do that. That's me hitting the triangle button. Oops. Max one up. Okay. The red star gives you an extra warrior, but doesn't raise your max one. Okay. Give me your warrior. You can't recruit another warrior. Oh, because I got five monkeys now. Transport. Oh, straight up Pikmin. Okay, sour food. Transport. Transport. Not enough dudes. Okay. Drop. All right, let's go, everybody. Where do we go, though? Like, back home? Follow me, everyone. Follow Darwin. Yes? Whoa. Okay. Zero deaths. That seems good. That I guess that was, like, the, f the first day? What is... This one, this one's actually a little baffling to me, because I think that was like, I think I get what I just did, but. This has a firm base. <laughs> so just to be clear at this point, uh, this is a monkey named Darwin who had a bad dream, a dream that he is certain is real. And he is going off to go prove to everyone uh, that he can save it. Everyone believed his dream straight up and there was a panic. But he says, no, we'll just evolve. And so four of these monkeys are his friends who said, yeah, 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 let's evolve. Um, and followed him. Passage. <laughs> I'm sure that was just a, like, a direct translation. So kill the monk, this little rabbit? Come on, gang, let's do it. Can we kill you? Oh, they are. They're killing that rabbit. Rabbit pig. Oh, but it's got meat. So transport the meat. It took four monkeys. Here we have a deer. So just for the night, I wonder if, like Pikmin, like, we can't be out here at night. More meat. That looks like bigger meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys drop that. And let's get this big creature meat. Hey, I don't think this is how to evolve. So do I honestly, like, I have to make a trip back every time I just want, like, creature meat? <sighs> creature meat. There's no way I'm playing this right, right? Like, there's... Oh, level two. That sounds good. Creature meat was a good idea. So it's another day in Monkey Town. Information board changed. So maybe I should check that out. About the information board. I'm not gonna read any of this. Oh, so I've like finished stuff. Okay. I think most of that was already finished when the game started. But now I have Iron House. This is my new thing. This is where I can like get weapons maybe? Iron House. Talk to man or talk to girl. Hee hee. There are good places to find wood and rock, but I prefer iron. Okay. There's Ein, a boy who loves iron. Well, I'll talk to him. There are many kinds of iron. Be sure to find the best type to use. I'm depending on you, he. Really? That's what you guys are doing iron? Hunt? Maybe I just need to bring iron back. I thought I already did. I don't know. I'll find more. Leave village. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? I should have brought more monkeys. Oh, dang it. Well, he was just dreaming of monkeys that time. All right, all right. Do you think Darwin, like, has a plan right now? That's what I can't tell. Alamar... He says, okay, we, I need to get off this planet. Darwin's plan is I need to evolve. <laughs> which, <laughs> which I think is like, I have no idea. Like what, how are we gonna become a human? Yeah, what's up? You looking at us? We see you, come on. Look at him, he doesn't even, 
bend his legs when he jumps. Oh my gosh, I hate you. What? Come on. There we go. Oh, that hit me. This guy hurt Darwin. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. Final stretch. Okay, so more meat, creature meat. Let's transport this. Hopefully I'll level up again. Yes. So I think if I go to the bar, I'll be able to like recruit more monkeys and then we can like actually accomplish something out there. Yeah, here we go. Give me, so restock. Due to decreased vitality, more warriors cannot be replaced on standby. No more. What? Pikmin never did this to me. All right, I'm gonna go to West House and see what's going on with these idiots. Whoa, look at that shot of Darwin. Hee hee, how do you feel, hee hee? There's a way to break down the blocking rock wall. I already did that, don't even pretend that's news. House on the hill. Talk to girl. That's glamor. Hee hee, a village is always developed with either wood, rock, or iron. I can't stand these people. Yeah, there's another wall. I like taking those down. Oh, and there's a gold star up there. All right, decision time. Do we get that gold star? I think we do. Let's do that. Are you guys really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that gold star so I can get at least one more warrior. I imagine like the designer of this game would just be so mortified to like watch me try to play this game. There we go, six, six warriors. Okay, let's roll, let's roll. Let's see if I can use this door over here. Come on, crew. Darwin's a lot bigger than everyone else. That's probably why they trust him. Yeah, let's make some creature meat. Whoa, it died! Oh, well, actually, I think this will bring it back to life. There we go. Yeah. Another man. They're already calling him men. I don't think we've evolved that far. So, uh, my guess is I can use this door to not have to end the day. Uh, I guess we'll never learn, because that chiming means that the 15 minutes are up. But you should be able to return to the village. I think that would end the mission again. So in the end, Adventures of Darwin, uh, there are good things about it. Do you know what I mean? There, there's a particular type of person who's going to like a game like this. Uh, not most people, I assume. Most people will think that it is just as stupid as it is. But I, I guess what is likable about Darwin is that in its flaw, in, it, in its thing where it requires so much patience, it, uh, that it also can be an attribute to a lot of games, I think. I think that uh, you value what you've accomplished more when it requires patience. It, if you have to like work for it, if I have to work to build my city more than just like, oh, here it is, just collecting meat nonstop, here's my city, it's big now, um, you appreciate what you've built more. And, and I mean, <laughs> this is a game about the survival of the human race survival of monkey race by choosing to evolve into humans but uh no there, there's there's a game in here there's something worth liking a and what is good about it is that it's unique you know look at all these games a lot of them are just about some dude who's shooting something you know just oh here's another dude is shooting something here's another guy who's trying to be cool shooting something here's a monkey who wants to become a human he wants to become a human to survive and and so for that, I, I think that Adventures of Darwin deserves some credit. 2.2. And that concludes this episode of The First 15. Uh, we'll be back next week with another episode of The First 15. I'm uh, going to check out another game on the 1st of January. So it will be 2014 the next time I see you. Uh, anyway, that is it for today. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Dream Day Honeymoon. Seek and find puzzle. The romantic adventure continues in this thrilling seek and find game. Fall in love with Dream Day Honeymoon, a romantic adventure filled with hidden treasures and delicious drama. So like, who is this game for? Is it for moms? Like is it for, I, so, you know, every game has a, a target and this is probably being rude of me, but I kind of assume this game's for moms. Moms who have already had their honeymoons and they just kind of want to have like, oh, wouldn't it be nice to like 
they fantasize about this beach honeymoon. I mean, you know, very few people have. And, you know, very few honeymoons, I think, are as fulfilling as you want them to be. Because, uh, you know, people are, are real. They're human beings. And so, prove yourself at perfect match to achieve first-class treatment. Gosh, what a dumb idea for a game. Kind of like, kind of dumb idea, but at least it's, at least it's something unique. You know what I mean? Here's a game where you're on your honeymoon and some drama starts up. <laughs> it's, it's something. Music